Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. It is time again for another empty studio. So today I'm gonna to share with you all of the household and beauty products that I used up during the month of April. I surprisingly used up quite a few household products, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with those. First thing I have here is my laundry detergent. I don't really share my laundry detergent with you guys often just because I kind of use the same thing all the time, but I finished this and figured I'd go ahead and throw it in. This is just the Tide 64 Load Original Scent. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I feel like it gets my clothes really clean. I know it's a little bit overpriced, but honestly, to me, it is worth it. it just It's amazing. I love this stuff, and I will continue to repurchase it. It's my favorite. Another cleaning product that I really love is the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I use this whole box up. It comes with four of the Magic Erasers. These work so well. I use them in my bathroom mainly to clean my uh, my shower, my tub, my vanity. They also work really well if you have like fingerprints on your wall. They get those off without taking the paint off. Anything that you can't get off with a normal sponge, these will do the job. They're absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people have mentioned that Dollar Tree has their own off-brand of the Magic Erasers, and I have tried them, and they do work okay, but honestly, they just don't work as well as the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So to me, it is worth it to spend a few dollars on these. I just love them, and I will continue to purchase them. They're great. Next thing I used up is this Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I know I've talked about this before because I use it all the time. I actually purchased quite a few of these when I was really into couponing for like 30 cents a piece and I only have one bottle left. So I don't know if I'll change the brand around or not. Um, this is just what I've always used and it works great. It makes my bathroom smell good and uh, it just gets the job done. So I used that up. The other two household products I used up were candles. The first one is the Lavender Vanilla Candle from Bath & Body Works. It is a white barn candle and it smells absolutely amazing. I love burning this in my master bedroom at night before I'm going to go to bed and I just burn it while I'm unwinding and it helps me relax and just kind of de-stress and I just, I think this is amazing. So I definitely plan on repurchasing more of these. If you haven't tried it out, I definitely recommend it. The next candle I used up, I believe is called Lessons, is the brand. It was actually sent to me from a subscriber who makes these candles. I'll link the uh, website down below for you guys to go check it out if you would like. But this is the little jar that it came in and I completely burned this. I used this in my uh, guest bathroom. This is the Mint Mojito candle and it smells absolutely amazing. So I really did enjoy this and I am so happy I was sent it. It just oh, it smells so good. Every time I walk in the bathroom and this is burning, I'm like, mm, it just smells so good. So I love this one. Now it's time for beauty products. I used up another one of my Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Makeup Remover Towelettes. These are absolutely amazing. They get all of my makeup off really well. They don't irritate my skin or burn my eyes or anything like that. I've already repurchased these. They're just my favorite. I absolutely love them. If you guys are looking for a good makeup remover wipe, definitely check these out. I used up some Bath & Body Works shower gel. Is it, is it shocking to you guys that I used up a full size shower gel? I've been using so many of the little travel size. But I went ahead and used this one up. This is the Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea Shower Gel. I'm pretty sure they don't sell this anymore. Um, I believe I got it at a semi-annual sale a while back. And honestly, it does smell really good. And I don't know if I'm going to continue to purchase Bath & Body Works products just because I want to try something a little bit more natural. Um, I'm trying to kind of just use up what I have and then I'll go towards something a little bit more natural. But if I was going to buy Bath & Body Works products, again, I would definitely uh, purchase this one because it smelled really nice. So I did like that one. Another Bath & Body Works product I didn't use up but I'm throwing out is this little mini travel size um, Twilight Woods body spray. I have had this forever. I can tell because it has initials on the back. You guys don't know when you work at Bath & Body Works and you keep things like this in your purse, they have to initial it. That way they know you're not stealing from them. Um, so I've had this forever. I actually put it in my car and the sun has just gotten to it and it just doesn't even smell the same anymore. So I'm throwing this out, but I love Twilight Woods. It's one of my favorite scents. I actually started using probably this exact body spray when David and I started dating and I've always just had it my car ever since so it just like reminds me of when we started dating and I just I love that scent um, another thing I used up that was also in my car I believe is the Bath and Body Works pocket back in Sweet Pea I usually keep one in my car and one in my purse um, and I just I don't know I really like their hand sanitizers because I feel like I'm getting my hands nice and clean after like I pump gas or handle money at the bank and things like that so I used one of those up I used up a uh, green apple conditioner. This is the Head & Shoulders Green Apple Scented Conditioner. Um, I usually only put conditioner in my hair from like here down. Um, that way it doesn't make my scalp greasy or anything like that. So it doesn't really do anything as far as the dandruff part goes. Um, but I just bought this to match my uh, dandruff shampoo and green apple. I just love that scent. It smells so good. So use that up. 
Then I used up another one of my Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Wipes. These things are amazing. I use them constantly and uh, I will continue to repurchase them again and again. And then the last three things are makeup products. So the first one is uh, pressed powder. This is the Revlon Age Define with DNA Advantage Pressed Powder in Light Medium. I got this at CVS when it was 75% off a while back. I used the entire thing up and it came with this little brush but I never used it so it's just sitting in there. Um, I feel like this worked okay. I mean, I don't know. Like I've said in previous empties videos, I don't know that pressed powder like does a whole lot. I don't really notice. I mean, I noticed that it sets all of my foundation and everything and I will continue to use it but I don't know if like, I don't know how they compare to each other. So I used this up, it worked pretty good. And then the last two things are just mascaras. I used this first one, it is the Maybelline New York Illegal Length Fiber Extension uh, Mascara. This stuff did work amazing. I felt like it made my eyelashes look super, super long. I, I will probably repurchase this in the future. This is what the wand looks like in case you are interested. Um, this one, I just, it's, I've had it for so long that it's dried out and it's just time to throw away. So finish that one. And then this one I really loved as well. And it is the Revlon Lash Fantasy Total Definition blackened brown mascara and it has a primer on it which the primer was absolutely amazing this is what the wand looks like i have had this for so long it is definitely time to throw it out and then this side is the mascara once the mascara was used up i just um used the primer part on all of my uh, mascaras and i just i love it so if i can find this i will definitely repurchase it um it just it was amazing so definitely check this out if you're interested in a primer mascara duo. It was wonderful. So those are all of the products that I used up during the month of April. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have tried any of the products that I mentioned, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Congratulations!